not all people are here. It was a morning of showers early on, but Christians from the nation's capital still gathered to observe the occasion with prayers for the country. Prime Minister James Marape encouraged Christians to remain faithful, reminding people of the covenant put in place some years back. And that is the reason why we are here, and first and foremost, let me acknowledge God. For without God, I will not be what I am, or I will not be here. And I thank the churches, Body of Christ, and all the churches that are associated with it, the mainland churches, the Council of Church, and I thank the Evangelical Alliances, and every Christian denomination in our country for ensuring that one day, a day that God inspired Grand Chief Sam Michael Somare and his cabinet back then, I was a part of that cabinet, to pick out as a day in which the nation come together in solemn respect to God and respect to one another. Pastor Joseph Walters from the Body of Christ delivered the Word of God, emphasizing on the covenant. From the islands, from the coastlands, from the inlands, that there is a God in Papua New Guinea. He is the God of Israel, he's the God of Papua New Guinea. This comes at a time when the proposal for Papua New Guinea to have Christianity as the only religion being put on the agenda for parliament debate. Given the challenging times that Papua New Guinea has gone through in recent months, Christians who form a vast majority of the country's population gather in this manner to pray and repent on behalf of the nation. It is an act of seeking God's will upon the country, whether it be political, economical or social aspects. As COVID-19 issues and legal issues relating to religion clutter debate among the general public and parliament leaders, Christians continue to observe church worship and other programs. Dennis Orere, National MTV News.